this is really exciting for me because, you know, for close to 14 years I lived across the street and I remember when we opened up this fire station and how important it was to the community and now to be able to see that we have a new fire station opening up here it's just really uh, wonderful really a very special day and not only a special day for those of us who are here today but also for our great West Palm Beach Fire Rescue Department to have a real station that they're going to actually work out of instead of like a a little portable. <laughs> so that'll be great. I'd like to welcome everyone here, including the members of the City Commission who are here. Uh, uh, Commissioner Corey Nearing, the President of the City Commission. Where'd you go, Corey? Oh. <laughs> Let's say welcome to him. And Commissioner Keith James is right there. Um, I think Commissioner Paula Ryan and Shan Material were supposed to show up, so um, if they show up, say hello to them. Uh, and, uh, of course, all of the members of the West Palm Beach Fire Rescue, our fantastic and talented team from D. Stevenson Construction, especially Dwight and Dinah Stevenson, and the company president, Joe Sanchez, a long friend, old friend. So thank you for being here, and thank you for the good work that you're going to be doing. Um, and especially those of you who are joining us from our local community. I saw Sal Faso here. Uh, n number one representative of IBIS. There he is. And uh, yeah, some other folks from IBIS, welcome all. Mike. Uh, and so before we get started, I'd like for all of us to pause for a minute uh, and say Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. If you could stand. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, Thanks to our fire rescue folks for getting the flag there. It's always so impressive to have that huge flag here with us. So we're so happy that you've all decided to join us on this really beautiful day. Um, as I said, this event um, marks great progress in our city. In fact, uh, this is the second fire station that we've uh, actually done groundbreaking on for the last three months. Fire Station 4 is also being rebuilt. Uh, I saw a picture of it the other day and it's really moving along. Uh, so there are a few things I want to tell you about this station though. It'll be about 10,000 square feet, will house three bays and living and working quarters for two full crews. With a cost of about $5.46 million, it's expected to open in the fall of 2018. I want to acknowledge a few people who played a very special role in getting this together today. First of all, Kevin Goldberg, our Director of Engineering. Kevin, where are you? In the back. Thank you, Kevin. Again, Dwight and Dinah Stevenson from D. Stevenson Construction. And President Joe Santos. Uh, the architect is Stephen Boroff, Architects of West Palm Beach. Uh, I don't think Stephen is here, but he's a great job. And of course, our West Palm Beach Fire Rescue Chief, Diana Matty. Diana. <laughs> Chief Guy Montante, who helped coordinate the project. Guy, where are you? In the back. Thank you. And I also saw our police chief here, Sarah Boone. So congratulations to everyone involved in the project and congratulations to all of those in the neighborhood who will benefit so much from this new station. I just remember when we opened the modular station here, um, how you know the response was so much better and how people in, in my community felt so, um, so protected and safe to have a, the fire station so close to us. So now I'd like to call to the podium the West Palm Beach Fire Rescue Chief, Diana Maddy who will deliver some emails. Diana. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. So, Diana Maddie, for some of you uh, that haven't met me, I'm the fire chief. I uh, started as fire chief about six months ago. Um, so I want to take you back to 1894 in the city of West Palm oh. Beach. Think about the land you're standing on now and what that might have been like during that time. Maybe swamp, full of hogs, deer. Certainly not all of us standing here uh, with the modern fire equipment and the modern fire station we're going to have in just a few months. So it's interesting to see where this city has gone in that 123 year history. Uh, we're sneaking up on our 125th year history as a city. Our fire department is going to celebrate that in many different ways, but 
Um, we're very proud of the history of this fire department since we've been, we're one of the oldest fire departments, we're one of the oldest cities in the state of Florida. So um, to see where we've been able to come in that time is tremendous. So this will be, uh, let's see, station two, three, seven, four. So we're, we're almost out of uh, remodeling and re rebuilding. We have to do station one and station six down the line. So then we're, then we're good. And we get station nine and our training facility out of the ground, we'll be quiet for a while. <laughs> but so when we first uh, came out to this area, there was a, a pressing need to have a fire station out in this area. Response times were long, as the mayor said. Um, the call volume wasn't specifically high, but it took us so long to get here that our city residents weren't being served as they should. So those were about 120, 150 calls a year. This year, 2017, we're going to break the 550 mark wow, wow. for this area. And in just three years, <coughs> the call volume in this area has gone up 17%. So citywide, in just the past 10 years, our call volume has gone up 36%. So all of the good things we've been doing to, to draw people into the city, you know, it comes with a, with a side effect, and that's increased call volume. So to meet that demand, we're increasing staffing. We have 15 firefighters on a safer grant right now that's um, actually in danger of being uh, not um, funded uh, in the early part of January. So maybe, you know, we could think about that just on a side note. Um, so call your representatives, et cetera. Um, but but those, those funding, that funding does come from the federal government. It allows us to increase our staffing, which allows us to better serve the public. So once we get this fire station built, some of those firefighters will be assigned out here, you know, over time, floating in and out. This is typically where more, uh, we typically put more senior folks out here because they are alone for so long. They're waiting on help to come for so long. We need our most experienced folks out in this area. So that's typically why you'll see the older ones out here. They've been on the job longer, and we, we keep the newer ones in town so they get experience, and um, occasionally they'll float out here. So uh, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who had a part in this. This is a tremendous historical event for our fire department. We're going to be able to move equipment out here. We'll be able to move personnel out here, firefighters. Um, when we first started in IBIS, it was a construction trailer that we worked in, in in 2006 for 10 hours a day. And then we moved in 2009 to this facility where we, we started 24-hour operations to have someone in this neighborhood at all times. During a hurricane in the future, we could house the police department, the fire department, uh, public works out here. Uh, we've been putting them in the IBIS clubhouse, which thank you, IBIS, for, for putting us up. That's been wonderful, but we're going to leave you alone. and and have our own facility. We'll be able to keep our trucks inside. So as you can see, I'm very excited about what's going on here. I know our firefighters are uh, as well. So thank you very much to everybody that came out and, and we look forward to a uh, grand opening. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Um, I also just noticed that um, Commissioner Mac Bernard has joined us from our county commission. Commissioner Bernard, welcome. And did I hear Commissioner Moffat was here? No? Okay. Um, a couple other people I want to introduce that we didn't do. Um, uh, Jeff Green, who is our city manager. Uh, Jeff is right here. Uh, Jared Miller, who's our deputy city administrator. Uh, Scott Kelly, who's our assistant city administrator. Mark Parks, our chief financial officer. Jose Luis Rodriguez, our Chief HR Officer. Christine Brevett, our Chief Technology Officer. Who did I miss? Frank. Oh, Frank. Frank? Frank who? <laughs> Tell me about that jacket you have on, Frank. <laughs> Frank Hayden, our Procurement Officer. Anyone else in this? <laughs> All right. So now let's get down to business. Um, I want to introduce Joe Sanchez, president of D. Stevenson Construction. Say a few words. And Joe, I hope that you will talk about the intern program, the apprentice program you're going to do. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is an exciting day indeed. Um, we've, it's taken us a while to get here. 
uh, we've had to go through a couple of different jurisdictions, obviously with the uh, city of West Palm Beach, and then um, actually this property was unincorporated uh, Palm Beach County, so we went to the county, and then it got uh, annexed into the, to, to the city of Palm Beach Gardens, so we had to go through a couple of steps to get here. So a uh, good thing we're used to working with, with government folks and uh, some of the finest folks here in the city of uh, West Palm Beach. Um, again, I just want to, first of all, thank the city, uh, thank the commission, the mayor, for having confidence in us and faith in us to give us this opportunity. Uh, this is a, indeed a milestone event today. Uh, Dee Stevenson is an African-American-owned contractor. Uh, D Dwight Stevenson, he's played with Miami Dolphins, our, our founder and president, or the CEO, and then uh, his wife, uh, Dinah, uh, founded this company 25 years ago. So actually this year we're celebrating our 25th anniversary. So this is a big, really big deal for us. But it's, it's not unique uh, that that uh, this city is progressive. You can see um, they have a, uh, you can see the fire chief and the, the chief of police, uh, two females. Uh, so you can see that there, this is a very, indeed a very progressive city and I appreciate you for all that you do. Um, a couple of things I want to recognize our staff that are here. Our, our project manager is uh, Stan Francis who's standing over there. And our superintendent is Joel Campbell. Where's Joel? Joel's in the, the back there with the red shirt on. Uh, we also have a couple other people here. Um, uh, Lisa Bassini is our senior project coordinator over here. And, uh, and, and Nellie Garcia helped uh, coordinate this event. She's around here somewhere probably taking pictures and getting things together for us. So I wanted to make sure we recognize them for the, what they did. Uh, this project is about a 12-month project. Uh, we're going to be constructing the building here. Uh, actually on that, that and the building pad that you see right there and then uh, that's going to take about uh, nine months to do that, nine, ten months to do that and then we're going to be demolishing or moving out the, uh, the, the uh, portable uh, temporary uh, fire station and then we're finishing the site work that's going to be done over there. Um, so, but in that time, uh, you know, we hope to make uh, great friends with the neighbors. I want you to get to know our, our people, Joel and, uh, and Stan. Um, and some folks from, from my visit here, please, uh, if, there's a, if there's something that, that concerns you, uh, please feel free to, to, to let us know so we can address that. We want to make sure we address issues quickly and, 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 uh, and expeditiously. Uh, the mayor asked me to talk about the uh, internship program. I know uh, the city has uh, provided a, uh, is doing a program with the Urban League. My wife's here with the Urban League as well. And um, <laughs> it's Marie Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I got, but basically something about it, right? <laughs> um, so they have a program where they're they're looking to employ uh, is it 18 to 25 year olds uh, from the city, from the inner city, um, and we're looking to, to get them engaged with some of our subcontractors on this project. I know transportation is a bit of a challenge to get out here, uh, but we're, but you know we're up to the challenges. And we're looking to solve solve problems, whatever occurs. So I want to again thank the city for this opportunity, and we look forward to going the, into the the, the uh, dedication ceremony with you. I'm, I'm so excited about this internship pro program that um, we're going to be doing here and also at our other fire station as well. All right, three, two, one. Yay! Yay!